you think we're going to have to do something with Iran before the end of the, the Bush administration? Nina, is, is that something looming on the horizon? I hope that we can do something with them by helping bring about a change of regime through economic pressure, including really tough economic pressure, like cutting off their imports of gasoline and uh, refined uh, diesel, uh, which they have to import in over 40% of. Um, um, or, uh, and by changing our communications policy uh, with them, by uh, doing something like what we did with Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty instead of the, the, the useless stuff we're broadcasting to them now. Um, but um, if that doesn't work, and if uh, President Bush, before his term is out, gets to a point where if he lets it go longer, there's a good chance they would have enough official material for a nuclear weapon. And I agree with John McCain that uh, the worst option is using force against them, except that there's one even worse than that, and that's letting them have a nuclear weapon. Exactly. So I, uh, I think we ought to try everything else first before we use it. But uh, if we've got to do it, uh, it would, I would think the air power, and I would hope it would be not just bombing their nuclear installations, but rather breaking the power of the Revolutionary Guard, which is the instrument of control of the Iranian population, as well as the instrument of foreign terror. Uh, they run Hezbollah, they run the Quds Force, and uh, they run uh, a lot of the uh, uh, operations by the Iranians in Iraq, they run the nuclear program, they run the ballistic missile program, and we need to, uh, and they run a chunk of the economy. So, uh, and it's as if Hitler's brown shirts ran a substantial share of the German economy. So we have to, uh, I think, if we have to use force against Iran to keep them from getting a nuclear weapon, we ought at the same time uh, break the power of the Revolutionary Guard, not just bomb four or five or six or eight or ten potential nuclear sites. Take them out in the first shot. Well, but not the civilian economy and not particularly the Iranian army, mm -hmm. which is not a threat to us or, or anybody much and is an alternate source of, uh, of, of uh, potential power and control in the society, uh, and it's not trusted by the mullahs and the Revolutionary Guard, uh, which speaks well for it. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the Iranian Navy could be a threat with, uh, with, with uh, patrol boats and torpedoes and, and cruise missiles and such to our Navy, so they would have to be a target, as would the air defenses of Iran, as would, I think, the air bases, which would be pretty easy to compare their aircraft pretty easy to, to engage, uh, but uh, not, uh, uh, no reason at all to attack the Iranian uh, civil infrastructure. It, it's not like they've got this massive support of the people behind no, no, them, exactly, exactly. like in Germany in the 30s. It's slightly exactly. different. It's, I think it's very different. I think the I think the Iranian. Uh, the, I mean, you can't get picked up by a taxi in in Tehran these days. Uh, if you're a mullah, you got to take your turban and your mullah's outfit off. I've got to run. Okay, thanks a lot.